Congratulations on registering for Connect My Health, a patient portal to help empower your health journey. This video will explain how to log in to Connect My Health and set up your multi factor authentication. You should have received an email from the Connect My Health program office that includes instructions to activate your new Connect My Health account. You must activate your account within 10 calendar days of receiving your account activation email, as your supplied temporary password is only valid for 10 days. If you do not activate your account within 10 days, you will need to re register for a Connect My Health account. You only have to activate your account once, on one device, your computer, and there are five steps involved to do so. 1. Determine your preferred method for completing your authentication at each login, i.e., SMS text to your mobile phone or MFA authenticator app, which can be changed at any time. 2. Initiate first time login to Connect My Health. 3. Create your own password. 4. Activate multi factor authentication. 5. Complete your final identity verification once logged in to Connect My Health. Here are some tips to help with this one-time setup process. 1. The account activation process has a time limit, currently 15 minutes, therefore it's best to review these instructions first, familiarize yourself with the process, then begin. 2. Download the authenticator application from your preferred app store onto your computer first. 3. Have your account activation email available to you. Once you've completed this one-time account activation process, you do not have to download or complete the instructions a second time. All you need for future logins to connect My Health is your email address, the new password you're about to create, and your computer with the authenticator app to obtain the verification code. An authenticator supports multi-factor authentication, providing you with extra security each time you log in to connect My Health to view your health records by requiring a second factor be entered that only you should have, beyond your username and password. In order to have that second factor, which is a real-time, unique code that changes every 30 seconds, you must complete a one-time installation of an authenticator on your computer. There should not be any cost to download an authenticator. Open the Chrome Internet browser on your desktop computer, and navigate to the Chrome Web Store at chrome.google.com slash webstore slash category slash extensions. Search for Authenticator. Open the Authenticator option. Click the Add to Chrome button to add Authenticator as an extension on your Chrome Internet browser. After doing so, you can access the Authenticator by clicking the extensions icon, looks like a puzzle piece, as shown, in your Chrome Internet browser. As a tip, clicking the pin icon will pin the Authenticator in the top right corner of your Internet browser so it's easy to get to when you need to log in to connect My Health. While it makes for easier navigation, this is not a requirement. At this point, you are done with your authenticator, but will return to it shortly. Step 2. Initiate first-time login to Connect My Health. On your computer, go back to your tab 1 you opened at the beginning of your activation in your internet browser. It should look like this, the Connect My Health login page, connectmyhealth.ca. In the email address field, enter the username as identified to you in the account activation email. In the password field, Enter the temporary password that was provided to you in the account activation email. Tip, passwords are case sensitive and may contain letters, numbers and special characters. Be sure you enter the password exactly as was provided to you in the account activation email. Click sign in. Step 3, activate multi-factor authentication. Now it's time to connect, or activate, your authenticator to connect my health. These instructions are specific to you selecting authenticator app as your preferred method of verification. Open your newly installed Authenticator extension in Google Chrome by clicking the puzzle piece icon in the top right corner of your internet browser, as described previously. From here you have two options to complete the MFA activation component. 1. Scanning the QR code. 2. Manually inputting the 35-digit setup key. To input a code, click on the Unable to Scan option. A 32 character code will appear. Use your mouse to highlight then copy the entire code. Tip, you can click Ctrl and letter C together, or right click and copy, or Command C on a Mac, to copy the entire code. Click on the pencil option. Click on the plus button. 
select manual entry. Enter the secret and issuer by either typing in the code, or by pasting it into the secret box. Tip, you can click Ctrl and letter V together, or right click and paste, or Command V on a Mac, to paste the entire code. When finished select OK. On the Connect My Health screen, enter the six-digit code as it appears in the authenticator. You have the option to name your device but this is not required. For this example, the device was named Sarah's computer. Afterwards, click Submit. Step 4. Create your own password. Enter a password you'd like to use for Connect My Health as prompted, then click Submit. Password criteria, must contain at least 12 characters. Must contain at least one uppercase character. Must contain at least one lowercase character. Must contain at least one numeric digit. May contain special characters. Must not be the same as any of your last five passwords, which is not applicable when setting up your password for the first time. Step 5. Review user agreement and complete identity verification. At this point, you are logged in to Connect My Health on your computer, and you must verify your identity by entering your health card number, 10 digits, no spaces or dashes, and no version code which are the two letters after your health card number, and your date of birth, month, day, year. After entering your details, click the Continue button. You're done. You have now successfully completed your one-time account activation. Each time you want to log in to Connect My Health, you will be asked to enter your email address, username, the new password you created during this account activation, and the code from your authenticator extension on your computer. The code changes every 30 seconds on most authenticators for security purposes, and as you become a more frequent user of Connect My Health, having to enter the second factor, the code, should become quite familiar. If this is your first time logging in to Connect My Health, you will be shown the user agreement. Please review the user agreement, and if you agree with the terms of use, click the I agree button to access your record. If you do not agree, and click I disagree, you will be logged out of Connect My Health. During your first session, you will be able to take the Connect My Health tour which includes short videos that provide an overview of how to use the portal. That tour is always available to you by clicking your name in the top right corner. From here, and each time you log in to Connect My Health going forward, you will initially land on your new results page, where any new results that are available for you will display. Your other health records are available in the My Records section found on the left of your screen, on desktop devices. Once you are finished viewing your records, be sure to log out of the portal by clicking on your name in the top right corner, then click Log Out. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about Connect My Health, please visit the information site at info.connectmyhealth.ca.